area that we're watching. It is Invest 96L. Well, now it has about a medium chance of development in the next seven days. What's working against it? Some dry, dusty air it's moving into. Also some winds, but it has some things that we watch as far as steering mechanisms and what that does for the storms behind it. Because we'll be watching wave after wave coming off the coast of Africa right now, and we have been. But remember, we've been talking about the Saharan dust. We've been talking about stronger winds. Now this area right here that we're watching with the National Hurricane Center, the orange area you see is where we could see some possible development. It's important to note this is not a track. It's where we could see some development within this, in this area. Again, 60% chance of development in the next week. Models are pretty consistent when we go through the first part of the week, and then they open up. But the good news is they all fan out and take it up to the north and then eventually to the northeast and away from land. There, by the way, is Bermuda, where they would be possibly dealing with some rain and some big surf. We watch this one closely. This is a look at it for the past six hours. Notice the amount of dust coming off the coast right behind it. Plenty of it. That's Saharan dust. But then the waves after that, well, they might have a little more to work with as far as moisture. Now, there is some moisture with this in the mid-levels. The dry air behind it, though, is a concern. So we watch. <laughs> look at that area here. Look at this area here. A couple of waves that will come off the coast of Africa. And as they do so, we may see an environment that could be a little more favorable for development as we go through next week. So here goes Invest 96L. We follow that track to the north and then eventually northeast. We got an area of drier air that's right ahead of those three storms. But those three storms are wrapping around high pressure. And the first one that we just talked about, 96L, might find a little bit of a pocket where it can take that track, a pocket within this big bubble. Instead of one big bubble, you've got a bit of a kink. And that kink opens the doorway for that area to move into. As we go through next week and into the 12th, that bubble stays consistent. Is there a kink there? Probably not. And having said that, with that big bubble there, watch what happens. So we watch the first one go up and north and northwest. And then that big bubble that I'm talking about here acts like a, a steering mechanism. And what comes off the coast of Africa may stay on the southern trajectory, which means we could be watching for impacts to land. So stay with us as we watch this because we are starting to see things pick up.